Hello, I finished making the model. I enjoyed making this model. Let us see if this model will help us in understanding the algebraic expression a plus b whole cubed. Now let us write the algebraic expression a plus b whole cubed is equal to what does that mean? It means that a plus b is multiplied by itself three times. So a plus b into a plus b into a plus b. Now when a plus b is multiplied into a plus b, we get a plus b whole squared, right? And a plus b okay now we've already understood that a plus b whole squared is nothing but a squared plus b squared plus 2ab so this whole thing has to be multiplied by a plus b a plus b now let us multiply. When we multiply a into a squared, we get a cubed. When we multiply a into b squared, we get plus a b squared. When we multiply a into 2ab, we get plus 2a squared b. Now we have to multiply with b. So when b is multiplied by a squared, we get a squared b when b is multiplied by b squared we get plus b cubed when we multiply b into 2ab we get 2ab squared now let us write this in order a cubed plus where is this b cubed plus here we have 2 a squared b and we have an a squared b so all together we have 3 a squared b similarly we have a b squared over here and two of those 2 a b squared so all together we have 3 a b squared so this is what it is a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared. Now, let us see if we can understand this algebraic expression using our model. In geometry, when we talk about squared, we talk about the surface area. And when we talk about cubed, we talk about volume. So let us look at this. We know that in a cube, all the sides are the same length. That means the volume of a cube is s cubed. If we imagine that s is the side. Now to understand a plus b whole cubed, let us imagine that the side is a plus b. If you notice this from here to here, I will call this as a, a and from here to here we will call this as b. So the short, the smaller piece is a and the larger piece is b. If you, if I turn the cube on all sides, you will find it the same thing. It is a plus b and even the height, it is a plus b. You see from here to here it is A and from here to here it is B. It is the same on all the other edges. Now we will split this cube into two pieces. We will split it over here so that we divide this into two pieces. Now we have a set of cubes and cuboids over here. Let us look at each of them. We already talked about this part. We said that this 
is a right so here this is a this is a and this is a which means the volume of this piece is a cubed now let us look at this cuboid we said that this is a and this is a which means a squared and this is b which means a squared b and we have another piece very similar to this so we have two of these pieces i'll keep it over here now let us look at this piece this piece is b into b which is b squared into a so this is a into b squared so i'll keep this over here now let us look at these cuboids so we have another piece which is similar to this which is a squared into b so i'll keep it over here oh i have two of these which look like this which is is b squared into a so even these we have three pieces now let us look at this this is b this is b and this is b so this is b cubed wow so we have four sets of solid shapes now let us look at what we talked about earlier a cubed we said that this is a cubed then this is b cubed 3 a squared b which is three pieces of these a squared b a squared b and a squared b is 3 a squared b similarly three pieces of this which is a into b squared one piece two pieces and three pieces so there we are we got it a cubed plus b cubed plus 3 a squared b and 3 a b squared so when we put all these together we get a cube so when we put all these pieces together the cubes and the cuboids together we get a plus b whole cubed i'll show you how we do it so this is a cubed a squared b is b squared a b cubed b squared a another b squared a and an a squared b there we are so we got the cube with the side a plus b